Well, happy Sunday morning, and welcome to another episode of Tim's Brick Adventures. <laughs> so, I got a kind of little follow-up video to the video um, that I just did about my first display. Um, I didn't know, I had a lot of kind of special plants in there. And so I thought I'd share just a short video on what I did and a little bit about them in case something interests you. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, and I even did my homework this time, so I've got facts and figures for you. <laughs> so with that, like I said, I'm gonna keep this short and hopefully answer some questions and inspire and all that good stuff. So with that, I'm gonna lower the camera here. Okay, so in my samurai display, wasn't a lot of different foily or landscape or plants and stuff, but I did have a few unique things in there. And I guess the first one I'll share is was these little trees I made. Um, now I cannot take credit for these. Uh, Steve Jackson. And some of you probably know Mr. Jackson of Steve Jackson Games. He is a very big celebrity in the gaming world. And I consider him a friend. We've uh, interacted over the years with the train, <coughs> uh, Texas Brick Railroad display and stuff. And this is actually one of his designs. Um, back several years ago, me, Steve, and a man named Gareth, who the three of us in the trick, trick, <laughs> Texas Brick Railroad, we took the entire display up to Kansas City for an event called the World's Greatest Hobby Show, I believe. And so I really got to spend a lot of quality time because from Houston to Kansas City, it was and actually I went to Austin and then we drove from Austin up to Kansas City. Um, and so I got to spend a lot of time with him. And then up, he took his box of trees and he has got a lot of creative ideas. I wish I remember more of them, but I, and looking at the pictures um, of my display, I, I saw that I had used these. So I wanted to share that little backstory about them. I mean, there's nothing, they just hole right there and a simp, just to make a stock out of whatever one by one rounds. Now I would say if they were gonna be more of a permanent thing, uh, probably a pin, stick a, oh, a lightsaber <coughs> blade or whatever in there so it would come up into this a little bit because it's not, it doesn't stay on very well. I mean, as you see, it falls right off. Um, now like I said I did do my homework and these are called wheel hard plastic and this particular one is a 35 millimeter and it is 2593 is the element number on BrickLink. And as of now, five cents. So these are still cheap and I and they come in a lot of colors. I, I went crazy. I bought all the different sizes and was gonna, and, and still plan maybe someday to do some really colorful, crazy trees. Um, Cause they're smaller ones too. So I just, you know, I have a lot of great ideas and, and I let them kind of, percolate for a long time but anyway i thought i would share that because this was i i thought it was just awesome i mean it really cool different idea and thank you mr steve jackson for that uh you also may have noticed these bushes in the uh in the video and these i utilized in the initial build um now the the bad part about this <laughs> this is actually it is two parts. You know, you got your standard bush. They call it plant prickly bush. And this is the two by two by four. And it's the bright yellow. There's, these come in, I don't know, three or four or five colors. Now, this particular one is very, pretty, as far as bushes and stuff, $6 was the cheapest I could find on BrickLink. And that is mainly because it only came in one set and that was the 
Electro Mixel set, which is now going for twelve to anywhere from twelve to twenty-four dollars. So that's why that is not very is so expensive, and it's a little hard to track down. I mean, everybody in the day when they clearanced out Mixels, I'm sure everybody bought them up, and so everybody's kind of hoarding them. This one is a red, and this is the same plant prickly bush, two by two by three. Uh, oh, I forgot. This is 6064 and this is 6065. Um, now, for some reason, I did not write the price down. These come in green and red. And where these initially came from were the uh, underwater sets from the 90s. Um, I actually, I have them. I, I'll, they'll probably turn up again. I'm going to do a video. I got a really nice collection of the underwater stuff from the 90s, and this is where they came from. But I just, I was, you know, trying to come up with kind of a, to fit in with the Oriental theme, and uh, so the yellow and the red together, really nice. Um, like I said, I was fortunate enough, I was, got into collecting when these things, these weren't quite so expensive, so I picked up a few. I don't have a lot, because there aren't a lot to get, that's the thing. Um... Wow, I said a short video. <laughs> Last but not least, so I did, I used to have my bamboo, um, and uh, used to be all you had was the, the green, so the original one had the green bamboo leaves this way, and then I, I, I added this to the top just to kind of fill out the top. But over the years, um, they've now since come out with the lime green, they have gray and red, <clears throat> and that's kind of where these gray, dark gray and gray, I did a kind of a monochrome build where I used the gray leaves and I needed those, but since they were all in the package together when I was building, I just threw them in, just add a little contrast and stuff. And I used the lime green one by one round and... I should have went and grabbed some regular green, but I was lazy. So, um, the fun thing about my new bamboo, though, is the tops. So, I was going through all my plants and um, seeing what I had and all that. And so, I realized I had a bunch of the these new... Well, they're both relatively new parts. They may never come and get part again. That's okay, because I'm probably going to keep these together. Anyway, you probably all recognize that part. That comes in a variety, quite a variety of colors now. But I, for this purpose, I used the green and the kind of, oh, what do they call this newer green? Uh, uh, bright green, maybe? Kind of that. And then these little things are cut. I don't know. I think they're in black. And then these two different variations of green. I just happen to have quite a few of those. So I was sitting there looking at pictures of actual bamboo and looking at the tops of it. So, and they were kind of, you know, a lot of leafy things. And so I just kind of my brain, how it works and, and my love of plants and always trying to do something cooler or better with them. I thought, well, I stick... Um, those through there and get a little different leaves and then and those would add a nice filler so then in there I combined the two colors of this part and I should have wrote I don't know what the name of them are but you that's the nice thing with brick link there's not a lot of plants so it doesn't take a lot of time to search and then I uh, kind of changed it up I'm not going to try and take this all apart because I want to but that particular grass or plant stem that's kind of a new one that has uh, one, two, like six, six prongs to it or six branches. So I used some of those. And then I also, well, I didn't bring one, but then I also used uh, these too because as you can see, there's a little hole there and it fits onto all of them like so 
works out really cool. And uh, you know, I, there, that's the thing in the within the Houston Brick Club and the Train Group. There are so many guys doing so many wonderful things with plants. Tony Sava does, comes up with some amazing stuff. Um, so if you ever get a chance, go to my Flickr. I'm the link to my Flickr page is in in the description go to that and then just look up the different events that we've done that i've helped with with tbr because um you'll see some not only the great train layouts but just some amazing plants and different things and not just tony there's ed uh chang who is very much he's actually the ambassador for tbrr and he comes up with a lot of great stuff so 10 minute, 10 minute Tim. <laughs> so that's where we're at. But I wanted to share. I mean, there's, a, I love plants and I'm always grateful to see new ways to do them. And so I came up with that. I don't know if I've ever, I probably maybe seen somebody do something like that. And that's where I got the idea. I don't know. But, and if I did and you were one of them and I'm stealing your thunder, I apologize. But you did a great job. But I was just at the, when I was sitting there, my mind working. I came up with it in the moment, so that's what we got. And uh, and these actually, you can make these just be little plants. You could take um, just the one of the one of the one by one, and you know, you can even make it right green, and then just have like a potted plant. So, and like I said, I think these come in little. More, there's more colors. I'm not sure, but check it out. And I appreciate y'all. Thank you. And as always, like, share, subscribe. And guess what? We have gone over the 350 mark. So I don't know. I might have to come up with a video for that. Because for me, that is a awesome, awesome thing. I, uh, this year or last year, this time I was sitting there with maybe 30, 40 subscribers. And so here I am, not quite a year later at 350. Now, there's a lot of people doing a lot better than that, but for me and for what I've done, you know, I, I'm happy. And I can't thank the people that I've got in my, as subscribers enough. They're beautiful people. Y'all are beautiful people and great comments and great support. And I can't thank you enough. So I will see y'all and y'all have a happy Memorial Day because this is Memorial Day weekend. And enjoy every, enjoy the food, fun, and family. See y'all later.